How you guys doing? It's Ace. Welcome back to another video. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys top 5 things you guys need to have in your 1v1 Fortnite creative map. Lots of you guys have been asking me for tips and tricks for 1v1 maps. And basically, I think this is a good way of doing it. Showing you guys top 5 things, top 5 features that you guys should add in your 1v1 map. So basically, all I'm going to do is show you guys what the feature does. Then I'm going to show you guys how to actually make it and get it in a 1v1 map. So if you guys enjoyed this video make sure to drop a like let's try to get 50 likes on this video and also by the time you're watching this video i'm possibly gonna hit 3k subscribers so i just want to say thank you for 3k subscribers and if you guys are new make sure to drop a sub we're getting so close to 10k subscribers and let me know in the comments what you guys think i should do for 3k subscribers you know something special that i could do for you guys for 3k subscribers so the first thing that i suggest adding in your 1v1 map is a max height and a low height reset so basically what a max height and a low height reset is is if you go to max height or if you fall down from your map you're going to be teleported back to the start so you guys don't have to waste any time so let's just say both of you guys are 1v1ing and you guys reach max height so all it's gonna happen is if you reach max height you're just gonna be teleported back down to the starting area where you could destroy the builds and just keep on fighting so basically this is gonna just make it easier for you guys to fight it's just gonna make it way faster you guys don't have to spend time coming down and then breaking everything or you know or falling into some area that you guys don't want to so if you guys just fall right here as you see i'll just be you know teleport it back over here so to add it into your 1v1 map it is really simple so what you guys want to do is basically find the middle of your map and just go all the way to max height like i'm doing right here so this is a platform that i made to basically make the um teleporter but i'm going to show you guys how to make it right now so what you need to do is first go to gallery and go all the way down until you find this so you guys need to find this right here uh this gallery right here and then open it up and find this block right here what you guys need to do is make sure that your grid snap is on two and basically just place it wherever you guys want and then you guys should be able to place a floor just like this after you guys do that go to your devices and find this item right here after you find this item equip it and just place it on the bottom just like this so all you guys need to do is copy these settings right here after you guys copy these settings you guys should be done with this then you guys need to just come back down right here and basically what we're gonna do is this right here a teleporter so this is basically where I'm gonna be teleported to after I reach max site so what you guys need to do is basically get the teleporter open it and just basically place it wherever you want so all you guys need to do is just copy these settings right here and every single one of these teleporters have the same settings So right now, if we go to max site, we're gonna be teleported to right here and just come back down to where we were. Let's just say I wanna add a low height reset as well. What you guys need to do is come down right here. Basically, you guys need to go under your map, but to show this, I'm not gonna go under my map because I already have one right there. So what we're gonna do is basically put a um, hover platform right in like under our map put a floor just like this you can't really see it so what you guys gonna do is put a hover platform put a floor right there and then get this again and then we're gonna do basically the same settings the only thing are we gonna change is the height we're gonna just keep it at one instead of two So once you guys follow all of these steps, it literally takes two minutes. You guys should have a working max height and a low height reset. As you see right now, if I just fall, I'll just be teleported back to the place that I set the mark. So the next thing that I suggest you guys adding to your 1v1 map is these goals right here. As you can see, I have a ton of them that I have added right here. So basically what these are, these is outline and glow right here. These are outlines and glow and it looks really good in your 1v1s. It basically like makes your characters look, like pop out and glow and you guys can add them in your montages and stuff like that and it will look really really cool. To add these glows and outlines to your 1v1 map it is actually super super simple and it basically just makes your map look 100 times better because how simple, simple it is. So what you guys need to do is basically find this device right here and then just open it just like this and what we're gonna do is basically only use this right here 
So with this right here, we're basically just gonna change these settings right here and that's all we need to do to basically get these right here. So this is one of the settings that I use for this like outline and stuff like this. You guys can copy this setting right here. And as you see, after you copy this setting, all you need to do, you guys don't need to, you know, get the outline and stuff every single time. All you guys need to do after you like copy the settings for one of them is get this, put it to the side, and then all you guys need to do is change the visual effect to glow. So now you guys have glow right here and outline right here. So this is basically two effects. So now to get more colors just like this that I have, all you guys need to do is copy this, move it up right here. And then all you guys gotta do is you see color right here, you guys could change the color to anything you guys want. And you guys need to do the same thing to this side. So basically all I did was use the same settings that I used for this one right here and I just changed the color and the uh, uh, visual effect and I basically got two colors right here. So Next thing I want to show you guys is a really cool technique that has been around for a long time but a lot of people don't use it. It's basically an item changer. So basically all it does is change like the rarity of the gun. So if this is a gold pump, I could change it to a blue pump, to a blue tack and basically everything. And I could also pick it up as you see. If I pick it up it changes to the next one and I can just do this with every single one of them. To make these item changes is actually really easy. All you need is an item swapper and a trigger. So all you guys gotta do is go to your device and find a trigger. As you see the trigger is right here. I'm just gonna take it out and place it just like this. And then all you gotta do is find an item swap, which is right here. So basically these are the only two things you guys need. What you guys gotta do is basically put these on top of each other just like this and it's pretty simple so just change your grid snap to about 16 uh, it'll really help out a lot and just get on top of each other and just move it up and what you guys gotta do right now is copy the settings that i'm going to give you guys so for the item swapper this is the bottom thing right here the thing that i'm looking at for the item swapper these are the settings you guys want to use Pause the video, slow it down, what you guys want to do, these are the settings you guys want to use. And for the uh, trigger right here, the one that's on the top, this is the setting that you guys want to use. You guys can slow the video down, do whatever you want, but this is basically the setting you guys want to use. So let's say I want to make another one just like this. I'm just going to copy it just like that and just like this. Now both of these are going to have the same settings. Both of these right here are gonna have the same settings. All I have to do is if you guys look at this, right here where um, this is in the trigger right here, it says trigger when receiving from, it was at channel five for this one, this was at channel five. For this one, I change it to anything else. You need to change from channel five to anything else. It could be channel six, channel seven, channel eight, channel 100, you know, whatever you want. But you guys just wanna change it from channel five. If you guys put the same channel in all of these, it's not gonna work. As you see, this is channel 5, this is channel 10, and this is another one. This is not channel 5 or 10, this is channel 24. So basically, you guys need to use random channels for every single one of these that are different. Since the trigger up top right here is at channel 5, the bottom one, which is the item swapper, you guys also have to make sure this is at channel 5. That's all you guys need to change if you guys want to make more. After you guys got that done, all you just have to do is add weapons. You guys could add any weapons that you guys want. I'm just just gonna add like a couple of weapons just like this and then you guys gotta just drop the weapons just like that i hope you guys understand like how to basically make this item changer it is not that hard to make it just make sure to copy the settings that i gave you guys and just change the channels for every single one of them so the fourth thing that i'm gonna be showing you guys is the simplest thing in this list and it just makes your map looks really really clean and really simple basically and it just helps your map like look good so as you can see this bottom right here this is actually um a barrier that i basically use to make it look like this this is called nebula and it just makes your map look really clean it just looks sick without this like background right here the map wouldn't look good and i'll show you guys what it looks like without it and i'll show you guys what it looks like with it as you can see without the basically the nebula background under the water it does not look good it, it just looks really basic the nebula basically makes it look really really cool really aesthetic 
and it just looks your map like it makes your map pop out and it just looks really cool to add the background what you guys need to do is first go to your device and get a hover platform out just like this and all you guys have to do is just place it under the water just like this then put a floor and then all you guys have to do is this is the only other step is get the barrier out and just place it right here and then just copy the settings that i'm showing you guys on the screen right now it takes literally a couple of seconds and you guys should be able to easily get this and that's it as you can see i have the background right now it looks really clean the map just looks a hundred times better i use this in every single map that i have it just makes your map look super so the last thing that i want to show you guys that you guys can add in your know, 1v1 map is a coin dropper so basically as you guys have seen the background when you kill someone a coin will drop and you guys should be able to pick it up it's just like a really cool effect not a lot of people use it and it just makes your map looks really clean so to add this into your 1v1 map all you have to do is find this right here in devices illumination manager right here this bottom right here and then after that what you just want to do is go to this coin right here and just equip the coin and then you just need to basically drop this coin and like next to it so it basically collects the coin once you get the coin you'll see you'll get 500 coin but you guys need to drop one coin nothing else just one coin if you guys drop more than one coin it'll make the game laggy and you guys just don't want this so after that all you guys have to do is click on it and just copy these settings that I have put. It literally takes a couple of seconds. There's not a lot that you have to change. You guys could pause the video and just change everything. After that all you guys have to do is just basically hide this wherever you guys want. As you can see I put mine under the map. You guys could do the same thing basically just bring it and hide it under the map so no one could see it. So that will be it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. And I hope you guys like these tips and tricks. And I hope you guys helped you guys out a lot. I got it out to you guys as soon as possible. I'm also going to be making an in-depth video on how to make a logo in 1v1 maps. A lot of you guys have been asking me how do I make my logos. Am I going to do a tutorial on my logos. And I've just been saving up so I can make an in-depth tutorial on how to make logos. So if you guys want to see that make sure to drop a like on this video. Comment down below and turn on post notifications. And I'll make that video as soon as possible and i'll see you guys next time